Hi, my name is Andy Wolf. This is a video on understanding cam and pincer type impingement, which is a leading cause of hip labral tears in young people without arthritis. The first type of impingement is called cam type impingement, which involves the femur and where there is a bump on the femur, which engages into the hip socket, which causes damage on the, to the hip socket, which is also known as the acetabulum. If you imagine the hip as a ball and socket joint and the hip flexing up and the bump engaging into the socket and causing damage there, this is the essence of cam type impingement. This is an x-ray showing the cam type impingement. The blue area is the normal round ball with the yellow area being the bump off of the ball which then engages into the hip socket when the hip is taken through range of motion. The labrum is represented by the green triangle and the white repre is represented representing the socket. The hip then is flexed and as the bump becomes closer to the hip socket it starts to displace the labrum and then damage is then caused to the cartilage adjacent to the labrum on, on the acetabulum. As this goes on over time and the hip is repetitively taken through range of motion where the ball and socket don't fit together there is increasingly more damage caused with the labrum tearing and the cartilage being damaged next to it. The other type of impingement is pincer type impingement where the socket is too deep or sticks out too far thereby bringing the labrum in closer contact to the femoral neck. When the hip is then flexed the labrum becomes impinged upon by the neck of the femur and then is torn which can then cause pain. Also, in pincer type impingement, sometimes the ball will lever out the backside and cause damage to the backside of the hip socket. I hope this helps you understand cam and pincer type femoral acetabular impingement. Thank you for listening.